Can you just give like an overall just about the whole matchup? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I knew I knew Stetson was going to be one of our toughest matches in the conference. Um, they're they're a real feisty bunch, and I think they've they've got a lot of new guys from a couple years ago. Good, strong players, good competitors. Um, they came out and, and did a great job in doubles. Um, I didn't feel like today was our best doubles performance, um, but, but Stetson was more ready than we were, and so they got the doubles point. Um, but I was really happy with how the guys overall, as a team, responded in the singles. I thought that, I thought that we were tough, and, and you know we, we fought from behind almost, almost the whole match. So um, you know, congratulations to Randy at the at the very end. That is uh, that is not an easy thing to do to to win the match when it's all knotted up at, at three all and everybody's watching. But uh, Randy's a showman. He's a lot of fun to watch when when uh, when he's in that uh, competitive mode. And and I knew that as soon as the crowd showed up down there at court number three, that there was going to be no stopping the guy. So I'm just really happy for him. He he had an amazing week of practice, probably his best week of practice leading up to this weekend. And he's he's learning and growing every day and great teammate and, and just really, really proud of him. Yeah, today was a really special day for the program in general. Uh, Tyler Manring and his and his five kids and, and wife and uh, came out to to present their uh, their check to us this year and and both Tyler and, and Eric Manring, his brother, just established an amazing thing in honor of their late father and have raised an, an unbelievable amount of money for us over the last eight years and and I'm just really happy that they were able to make it out to the match and and see see the fruits of of their um, see the fruits of their labor if you will and um, you know because we wouldn't have the team that we have without the uh, without the money that they raised for our program so just really happy to honor them and, and everybody that's involved with the Tom Manring Foundation. Anything else you would like to mention the crowd or your upcoming matches or anything like that? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, today again, I thought our fans were were an incredible representation of Southwest Florida tennis. Uh, I I still think we have the best the best fans in the entire country, and and we don't even have places for people to sit, and we and we still just pack this place, and people love it, and people make noise, and and uh, tennis is a really special thing in this community. So I want to thank all the fans for coming out. We have. We have one more regular season home match on, on April 10th against, against uh, University of North Florida. And so I want to encourage everybody to come out to that. We would love another massive crowd. And hopefully if things continue to go well over the next couple of matches, we'll be hosting the first round of our conference tournament on April 17th. So fingers crossed that we have uh, two more home matches this year. And I really just want everybody to come out and have a great time. We haven't, we haven't been able to compete as much this year, but the matches that we have had here uh, the guys are the guys are competing well, and I think we're putting on a good show.